Let's shake up some drinks using our Texas grapefruit shrub. We'll start with the La Jolla cocktail, which the recipe is on the bottle of the shrub. We'll start with three quarters of an ounce of Texas grapefruit shrub. This is a really fun ingredient, guys. It's, um, it's probably a little unique for a lot of you out there, but shrubs bring a real novel acidity to cocktails. Um, that champagne vinegar gives it a real, that kind of, that kind of acid bite to your jaw. Um, and it's really fun to play with. So uh, don't be shy, just uh, get in there and, and mix it up and you'll find some great, great flavors. Um, we'll do three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. Always important here to use fresh squeezed citruses whenever possible. If you've got access to a juicer at home, um, a lot of the great, uh, great grocery stores now are carrying fresh squeezed juice and it makes a huge difference in your cocktails. So once we've got the acid in here, we need to sweeten this up a little bit. So we're gonna use a little bit of honey. We like a half ounce measure of honey. You might like uh, a quarter ounce here. Uh, it depends on your palate completely, uh, but just bring in that kind of earthy, that earthy sweetness to the drink. Agave nectar works really well here as well. Um, and lastly, we'll add to our shaker uh, some really good tequila. Um, here we're using an aged tequila, but you can use Blanco. Uh, we find that aged tequila usually adds uh, a little bit more complexity to the cocktail, a little bit more interest. Uh, Blanco tequila has that very assertive agave flavor, and the aged will get some of the wood off of the, um, the, the barrels that they're aged in. Let's add some ice to our shaker and give this a good shake. Make it really as cold as you can by shaking it for a good long while. Um, let's get a tumbler glass and fill it with ice. So let's get our Hawthorne strainer here and strain, the strain it into the glass over the crushed ice. We really want that kind of snow cone effect here. And let's top this off with a little bit more ice just to kind of make it pretty. We're gonna put a little straw in there. If you've got a metal reusable straw, we like those. Uh, slide that in there and then finish it off with just a standard lime wedge. This is a pretty basic garnish here, but it does really well in this cocktail. And this is the La Jolla. Now let's mix up a riff on a Hemingway daiquiri. We call this one the Floridita. The fresh grapefruit element here is our grapefruit shrub. So it is bringing a little bit different uh, level of acidity here. And it's a little bit more complex than the namesake uh, Hemingway daiquiri. We'll start by adding half an ounce of our grapefruit shrub to the shaking tin. We'll also use a half ounce measure of our classic gum syrup. This brings some, uh, some richness to the drink. The shrub is not the richest syrup but the classic gum syrup gives it a really nice mouthfeel, and it's also gonna help with the emulsification process and, and of course, uh, sweeten the drink a little bit as well. We'll also add half an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. It's always important to use fresh squeezed citruses when we're making our cocktails. It's a huge difference maker. It's, this is step number one, along with using Liber & Company syrups to changing your home bartending game. Then we're gonna add a quarter ounce of a very unique ingredient. This is Luxardo's uh, Maraschino liqueur. There are other Maraschino liqueurs on the market as well. Um, and this is just a very uh, unique flavor. I could try to describe it to you, but um, it's herbal uh, and it's got, it's got a lot of complexity. So um, it's a very distinct note. And when you add it to drinks in this type of measure, you're really just deepening the flavors of the drink and giving some, some what's that appeal to the, to the cocktail. Then we're gonna go with a full two ounce measure of white rum. Uh, this is a Puerto Rican rum. You can use any light rum uh, or very lightly aged rum. We don't love super aged rums in this application, so stick with something light. Let's add some ice to our shaker and shake this thing up. So as usual, we're shaking this thing until we can barely stand it. Uh, our hands are so cold. Uh, that way it's getting nice and diluted and you're also getting all those flavors really intermingled in there. Um, this isn't a big drink, so we're gonna use uh, a little coupe glass here uh, and we're just gonna strain it up. And to garnish this, we're just gonna do a simple lime wheel. Try to get it uh, pretty thin so you can sort of see through it nice and translucent on the top. And this is the Floridita cocktail.